Guys, um, got a pretty exciting update for me at least. Um, I've been shopping for seats for a while, on and off, but you know the car wasn't really done enough to consider it. But with the season coming up, it really put me in the crunch to get a new seat because I want a seat that sits lower and it'll kind of just make life easier and fits a little bit better in the car. So I um, been scoring Facebook, looking for used ones really because I don't have that big of a budget right now because. The vents are like right around the corner, like three weeks or so, and I has I just ordered my helmet and stuff, so I'm really focused on the essentials. But I was looking at a full containment, um, forget who makes it, but full containment seat with like the head protections. I think they look cool. Probably wouldn't need them, but they look cool for like 500. Um, that was a little bit more than I wanted to spend, and I found something I've always wanted though. I got this for 200 bucks. It's a Kirky seat. They're aluminum. Um, but it has a full cushioning and cover. Sometimes they like, they're mostly for like drag racing and this is like the road race seat. So it has padding and a cover and it's in really good shape. The back of it looks amazing. Like all these dimple dies and this like CNC out section and it's sweet. And the seat is just, it's not heavy at all. This is probably like 10 pounds, if that. Uh, I got it for 200 bucks with the side brackets and this, this here actually bolts to the back of the seat and then bolts to the roll cage. It's supposed to have a bracket that clamps on here. Unfortunately, it didn't come with that, so I'm going to have to make that. But I'm going to take the bracket off my pro car seat, basically just the rails that mount it. They're a fixed position. Unbolt them, put it in the car and sit this on and see if I can't make something bolt on with those side Here's brackets. This seat literally just sitting on top of these rails. Um, I really got to get the front of this seat down. This is a big boy seat, man. These shoulders are wide. It's a 17 inch inseam seat, which is pretty wide, but it has the padding and stuff. So it's actually pretty snug. And I'm like a 33, 34 waist, a little bit looser in here, but that's all right. And this uh, seat probably looks super tall, but this basically goes to like the top of your helmet. Like this fully cradles your helmet, but I'm going to pull these rails out and see if I can't get this so as i said this is a really big seat so it was um it's a little bit snug with my cage well, looking back i really should have welded this joint right to this one like and not up here but this is like where the notch was angled for because the cage came pre not so i just put it there looking back definitely should have tied it to this one um because the shoulder brace on the seat basically sits right on this but we're able to work around it and get it as close as possible still so I had to cut out this tunnel part, like there's a hump right here. This hump is actually for the catalytic converter, which I don't have, so it clearly doesn't matter. Um, you can cut this whole hump out if you want, but that's a lot of work and like rewelding the sheet metal. So I didn't do that. I just hammered it a little bit back there to make it clear. Um, these are actually the seat brace from my pro car seat that I um, had already modified to fit better. Um, now what I did, I have to rebend this. It's gonna line back up with a new hole. Boom, be perfect. This one's gonna get a big fender washer on the back side and the top to bolt through the floor. This one's gonna get welded back on, it's cut off. And this one here is also gonna get welded back on after I trim it up. And we're pretty much almost ready. The seat, I'm not gonna use these, um, these Kirky brackets because they add like almost an inch to the height. I'm actually gonna make bolt parts right on the slider that match right up with this here and bolt through. So that's what I'm gonna do next. All right guys, I'm on my way back to the shop right now. I just had to go to Tractor Supply in the good old Focus and pick up a, bottle, a new bottle of gas and a bunch of bolts and hardware. I had to get, um, I got some matching hardware to mount my harnesses. Two of the seat bolts are now gonna be through the floor with fender washers rather than the stock points. Um, and then I also had to get, like I said, the gas. I was getting really low and the welder was starting to like make that really crackly noise when it's not good gas and running like shit. So I picked that up and I'm gonna go back and start weld. I have the whole seat brace done. I'm gonna start welding the actual mounts for the seat. Like test fit it again, cause I'm gonna weld these partially in the car. I don't wanna burn this cover up. It's really good condition, only one little tear, so. But these are the brackets that are actually gonna be both welding to the rails. Um, as you can see, you, the actual stock mounts only use one of these holes, but I might as well just use two and it's a lot bigger tab now and I can have a lot more surface to run a bead 
as well as having eight mounting points rather than four. I mean, still four mounting points, but eight bolts should be a little more secure. Um, and like I said, they're just on each tab. So this should actually work out great. Like I said, I'm about to put it in there and tack it up. And hopefully it goes like butter and everything fits and just works. But we all know that doesn't happen a lot. All right, guys. So I got my seat tacked in. And what I really have to do is make sure it clears. So I got my old helmet on to see if I have good enough clearance between the cage and my head. For those of you who don't know, um, cage builders will usually ask what seat you're running or even get the seat itself so they can actually build the cage to properly fit your seat between your harness angles and the clearance for the, um, the main hoop and the A-pillar bars if you're running those. So I'm gonna hop in here. Like I said, I got attacked in and hopefully, hopefully we're good. So like, as you can see, I actually have clearance back here between the cage and my helmet and that's actually padding so that's actually good and this seat basically like fully encloses your helmet and look at all this freaking space I have I'm so hyped on this so here's me in the car like my head is barely even above the door panel like my cage bar is so high now that my elbow actually hits it I don't really mind it but it's actually pretty dope in here. I'm really stoked on this. It's kind of hard to, it's kind of like really hard to tell actually that where I'm sitting because of um, how like zoomed in the iPhone camera is. I literally hate it, but I'm like, as you can see, I'm so much lower. Normally I was no lie, like up here. Like, I could see the, the, like practically see the front bumper, but now I'm really low. My, my pedals are like literally just far enough away. Like if you guys look like, cause this has some padding that's going to go there. My pedals are like the perfect distance. I can just barely reach my e-brake, but I don't think that's gonna be too big of an issue. I can always adjust this here. The shifter, I am mint for. My gauges, switches, I am still perfect. So I'm so hyped on this setup right now. You guys have no idea. I almost shot my phone. You guys have no idea how long I've worked to get a seat set up that works like this. And I'm even more pumped because this season, I did order a new helmet. Um, this is a oh jesus this is a size large helmet and the problem with the size large fucking nose is bleeding god damn it all right so we're just letting it all hang out today you guys you get to see me in my prime with my nose tampon in but i ordered a new helmet um this is a large zamp makes them zamp pretty much makes like the most like available cheap sa 2010 2015 this is a 2010 I did have my buddy like Sharpie art it. It looks sick. I love it. Um, the, I love the teeth in the front. The back is insane. But it's time for a new one because the Zamp is a very short helmet. My chin actually like ha hangs out. I know I have a big ass head. But the problem is it's like a short helmet and it puts a lot of pressure on my the top of my head. And the, my last event I ever drove two years ago but the last event i ever drove i actually got such a bad headache that i felt like sick and i actually stopped driving for the day and it really like it really upset me that that was the reason i had to go home but i ordered a new one and it has a little air scoop right here on top because my helmet my head gets so hot and i love investing in helmets but right now i didn't have the money to spend on the zamp um the really high-end one, it has a vent here, and a vent here, and a vent here. And you can do three different air, air spots. So my plan is, since I have the headroom now, convert the top vent to a top air feed and actually hook up a helmet pumper, which I'm actually going to use a brake duct blower, and hook that up just so in the summer I have cool, well, cooler air actually circulating over my head. And now I have the headroom to do that, and I'm honestly so stoked about that. The basic idea of the seat brackets, I still have to weld this inside on all of them. I completely welded the outside. Basically the seat bolts right to it. Um, and I'm pretty, I'm actually pretty stoked the way this came out. Like it worked out just like I thought it would, which is like so cool. All right, this is it fully installed. We got the harnesses all in. That one's bolted through the tunnel. Um, all the bolts are good. The submarine straps bolted in. My harness angles are still a little bit steep, but honestly my, um, Best bet might be to have a tube bent up that basically hoops around me. It could even go around the passenger too. And that'll basically be a harness bar welded onto the cage with a 90 on each side that is angled up and out to give my harness a better angle. We'll see. But here's the tube I still have to mount. 
Um, for anyone wondering how this works, this here guy mounts to the back of the seat, which in my case is like super duper close, but basically he mounts to the seat and then bolts to the roll bar to brace the back of the seat. All right, so here it is, fully strapped in. I'm so dirty right now, I can see it. You can see just how wide the shoulder span on this thing is. And I actually ended up bending this one in a little bit, which I don't think is that big of a deal because the structure of the seat isn't in this corner and I didn't actually kink anything. I just flexed that wing in to clear the cage. And like, as you can see, you could fit a big boy in this freaking seat. Like I have a little bit of room on each side. My hips have a little bit of room, but that's good. Cause I do like to let other people drive my, like I want other people to drive my car sometimes, but like I know some people like my old seat setup was just, it was just too small. So, cause that was a little bit snug on me. And this seems like a really comfy seat actually, like in terms of actual comfort. Like this is pretty nice, man. And then with the door closed, like I'm literally below it. And the headrest, with the helmet on, this headrest is such a savior. My old one like almost pushed your head out cause like the top was like this, uh, the thickest part. So it didn't really have any give. And that's where the helmet actually sat. So this is way nicer. I have way more room, you can't really tell there, but. I have so much more room between me and the, and this padding's even loose, so I actually have a good bit of room. Um, everything's so much more ergonomic. I'm really hyped about this. Um, and the the seat is secure, man. Without even the back brace, which I don't think I need. I think I could pass tech without it. But to do any like the NHRA rules for um, like a certain second bracket, I'm pretty sure it might actually be all aluminum seats. They need back braces, and I have the ability to do it, and I have the tools to do it, and I have the pieces to do it. It'd be a lot easier if I had the universal clamp, but I don't. Um, so I'm probably just going to fab something up for that real quick. Just something, just a little bit. But I'm super happy with this, and I cannot wait to be out there. English Town now, super comfortable on grid, and probably a little bit cooler too, because this seat should not be as hot.